be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm going to be giving you some key commands you can use in the step sequencer. Okay. All right. So check this out. Like the normal way that you would enter in notes and different things like that, you would basically be using just the mouse with, uh, you know, key commands. Basically, you know, there's shortcuts that you can, you know, push on your keyboard to do certain things, all right? Now I have this pretty, this window up right here, and this is actually a master key command window for everything in Logic Pro 10. If you wanna access this, all you have to do is push option, the option button on your keyboard and the letter K on your keyboard, all right? You push option and K, then this is gonna pop up, all right? That's how you can get to this. Now I'm gonna focus on just a few of these because it is a little exhaustive, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't think we need to talk about every single one of these, but there are a couple of these that I really think are dope um, when it comes to like, especially like, let's say laying down hi-hat patterns. So basically, um, I have a, basically I created a software instrument track and I have a quick sampler. Um, I'm using a quick sampler for the instrument. All right. And I just created the track and I just drug a, a, a hi-hat in there. Okay. So that's what we, that's what we got going right here. Um, but the first thing I want to talk about with, with the uh, with these key commands is this. First of all, if you use the arrow buttons on your on your keyboard, either left or right, you can actually make this little white box move around on. We'll just call this the grid. So what we'll do is we'll just click on here, right, like this, and then just go over left or right. Like, I think that's pretty cool. That's gonna be real helpful, especially like with hi-hats or anything like that. Also, if there's like other rows right here, you can literally like push the up or down, um, you know, arrows as well to go anywhere on this. So say if you're creating like, you know, actual melodies, you know, this, that's, that's just like a real good tip to use the arrows to go up around or move or anywhere around to create notes, all right? And so that's going to be the next thing I want to talk about is what you can push on your keyboard to actually create notes. OK, um, actually, you're going to be clicking on the quotation mark. OK, so the quotation mark on your keyboard is going to be right next to the semicolon or you're going to look for the enter button. OK, and you should see the quotation mark um, button right next to the enter button, usually on most keyboards. Okay. So that's going to actually be how you step these notes on or off. So check this out. Basically I'm using my, uh, my arrows left to right. I can come over here and I can just push that quotation mark and move around. Now see how this actually created something else. You do have to have this pattern selected and you do have to like have that initialized. But after that, I can come in here and pretty much control everything. So I just quickly made a hi-hat pattern just like this. Okay, so that's pretty dope. I think just if I was to end the video just with that, that's a real game changer. But I'm gonna go ahead and go over some more of these. So let's just say if we wanted to actually take this and delete this whole row, as you can see here, this little squiggly thing, that's our command button. And you just push command and uh, delete. That's gonna get rid of this whole row. Um, but we wanna clear this row because it's this the only row, you can't delete it, you know what I'm saying? So you wanna clear it instead. If you look right here, this up arrow, that's actually gonna be the control button. And so if you push control command, and delete that's going to clear this whole row like i said the only reason why this row didn't delete before is because there was only one row here so you could do that by like i said you could clear your row you can put picture using the arrow use that quotation um quotation mark to enter the steps in And if you want to clear this row, you can just push the control button, the command button, 
and delete. And that's going to clear that row. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and push command Z and that's going to undo. And the next thing I want to talk about is how to move, like change the actual note of this pattern. OK, so like before, I'll have to take my mouse, click in here, go to note, then go on the note that you want. And you pick the note based on the actual um, octave. Well, right here, according to this key, we can actually do that one simple way by actually holding down the option button and then pushing the up or down arrow. And if you look right here, the notes changing. So I'm going to push this up some. All right. So pretty much just taking this down note by note by holding down option and pushing the up or down arrow. And then as you can see here, if we want to do it an octave, this up arrow, by the way, is shift. You would just basically come over here and push option shift and then push the up or down arrow. And you can see it going from C five, four, three, two, one, etc. So that's like a real good tip here. Um, again, there's other things you could do as well. Um, you could do randomize here. So like, say if I wanted to randomly, you know, just have a computer create me a hi-hat pattern, this is the hot key for that. So basically, um, I'm going to push option, command and R option, command R. And as you can see, you know, this is creating random patterns, just by me pushing that and you keep pushing that until you find something you like. All right, and see how this one is at C, uh, C sharp two, or the second octave in the C sharp. I can push that back up, you know, like I said, by holding on that option key. All right, so there's a lot of different ways, you know, you can come around here and move or move things around and everything. Um, and I just think that was pretty cool here. Again, if you want to access this, you can always just hold down option and push the letter K. And that's literally gonna just push this uh, button, this this window up, uh, open this window for us. Option and K, and then that's gonna come up. And so then all you have to do is come over here, right click on it, and you can just collapse all. And just scroll down until you see that step sequencer. And then it just gives you all of the key commands to the whole logic. All right. Like I said, I didn't want to really go over all of these, but I just thought it was pretty cool that you can. There's a key command for transposing this, the semitones There's a key command for transposing the octaves. I thought it was pretty cool that you could actually create notes. All right. Using that, um, you know, the quotation marks and stuff like that. So I'll probably do some more videos, giving some more key commands for certain you know, elements in certain windows within Logic Pro 10 in some future videos. But for now, man, that's it. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel if you want more dope tips like this. And make sure you go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. I have full-fledged video courses on the site. These courses have a full curriculum of videos that you can watch at your own pace whenever you want. And the best thing about it is once you download it from the site, you don't need an internet connection to watch the videos, okay? There's no type of, uh, you know, uh, login or anything like that. You pretty much will own the videos. So you can have them on your, your your computer, do whatever you want with them, watch them whenever you want, that type of thing. Go to the site, bemakingbases.com. Check out what we got going on over there. We also have loot packs, and I have a one-on-one -on -one service as well. So make sure you go check that out. Um, I'm helping everybody I can to learn Logic Pro 10 and to, you know, get better at making beats, especially if you're a beginner. So check that out. And uh, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video. We're out.